Kiwi Seed Booster, does it work? Hey, I'm Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com and in today's quick video, I want to run down the evidence on the ingredients and the logic for those ingredients in Halo Kiwi Seed Booster, which is a very popular skin supplement that has come out and people have been asking me about. Um, so right off the bat, let's talk about the uh, what Kiwi Seed Booster is as well as the evidence on its ingredients. First off, what the heck is the Kiwi Seed Booster supposed to do? Well, uh, right on the bottle, I tell you, minimize fine lines and wrinkles, wrinkles support collagen and elastin production. Collagen and elastin are very popular proteins in skin. And, and by doing so, um, improve the complexion of the skin and the, and the skin's appearance, okay? So if we look at the ingredients in Kiwi Seed Booster, we see that there is an awful lot of them. Uh, we start at the top, one capsule a day is all you're supposed to take, which is a good thing. And it has a variety of different ingredients. If we start at the top, vitamin D, vitamin B1, uh, B2, B6, and zinc. In my big review of Kiwi Seed Booster, um, I, I touched on it a little bit, but most of the time I spent was delving into the evidence on the other ingredients, rose hips, bromelain, methionine, methyl sulfonyl, methane, et cetera. And in this review, I wanna go through some of those ingredients, but again, I go into much more depth and detail on my website, which I'll link to in the description. But here is some of the uh, evidence on, on some of the sexier ingredients in Kiwi seed booster, okay? If we start with methyl sulfonyl methane, it is a uh, dietary supplement I often see, interestingly enough, in arthritis supplements because there is evidence that um, MSM can reduce arthritis pain, and that's probably because it is a source of sulfur. Now, uh, one of the, sulfur does a lot of things in the body, but if we uh, stick to just skin, um, well, it helps us make collagen and keratin. These are uh, very important proteins in our our skin, and so bolstering collagen and keratin production uh, can improve uh, the appearance of skin, perhaps minimizing wrinkles and stuff like that. Uh, another source of, or another reason to use sulfur is, and this wasn't talked about too much, uh, but I'm just speculating that MSM might be used because it might also be a source of improving glutathione production. Glutathione is sometimes called our master antioxidant, and it is a very important antioxidant compound that we tend to make less of as we get older. And so some people may even take glutathione supplements for that reason, but I'm speculating that MSM might be in Kiwi Seed Booster because as a source of sulfur, it can help promote the improvement of glutathione production. I, I did notice that as far back as the 1970s, there was a patent that uh, was issued uh, to someone who was uh, noting that research was help was showing that MSM improved uh, skin softness and hardness to nails, and that might be another reason why it's in Kiwi Seed Booster. And I also uncovered a dietary supplement uh, research study where MSM supplements uh, improved wrinkles in uh, fine lines and wrinkles, not massive wrinkles, but but fine lines and wrinkles in in men who took this uh, for a number of weeks. So uh, in terms of MSM, the logic is there for it being in a supplement like uh, key, the QVC formula. As well as quercetin, this is a, another ingredient which we find in, in this formula. Kiwi quercetin is a ingredient you find in a variety of different uh, uh, compounds like grapes, for instance, and it can help promote skin healing when the skin is damaged and also reduce inflammation. That's another reason uh, why it's in Kiwi Seed Booster. But something else that quercetin appears to be able to do is reduce compounds that are simply called, not simply, but advanced glycation end, pro end products, and they're abbreviated AGE. What the heck is advanced glycation end products? These are compounds that are actually formed when sugar combines with protein protein and fat. And when sugar combines with fats and proteins, it alters their chemical structure. And this in turn increases free radical damage, or as the scientists like to say, oxidative stress. So we know, I'm sure, that too many free radicals in the body that are left unchecked are implicated in the, a variety of diseases, ranging from diabetes and cancer to skin wrinkling and even the aging process itself. And I believe that's also the reason why they call these things advanced glycation end products, AGE, as a reference to their implication uh, in the aging process. So quercetin, um, by reducing advanced glycation end products, this may be another mechanism by which uh, Kiwi Seed Booster might help skin health.
Kiwi seed extract. So this is the uh, ingredient for which the product gets its name, okay? And it also makes sense because this is also the most concentrated ingredient in the kiwi seed formula. Um, as I noted, it is a 50 to one ratio. That means 50 parts kiwi seeds were used to make just one part kiwi seed extract. So that's a very concentrated uh, dose and um, it is the most concentrated uh, uh, compound in the kiwi seed booster formula. So seeds are a good source of a variety of nutrients. A couple here that I just uh, highlighted for you are alpha linoleic acid, vitamin E, and polyphenols. These are again antioxidant compounds. And, and again, by, re, by increasing antioxidants in the body and improving the body's own antioxidant defenses like glutathione, they, the hope is, is that we'll reduce free radical damage, reduce skin inflammation, um, and, and this will help the uh, skin complexion, skin Skin health, reduce acne, and plump up the skin, uh, improve fine lines and wrinkles, etc. Uh, evidence for this, well, um, like quercetin, we, or there is some evidence that uh, kiwi seed extract can reduce advanced glycation end products, those things we just talked about that are implicated in wrinkles and a variety of other health conditions, and also bolster collagen production. A uh, study I'm linking to here noted that uh, kiwi seed extract had increased, uh, doubled actually, collagen production in skin cells. So this does make sense uh, from a skin supplement perspective. And I, I don't see kiwi in, in many skin supplements, so uh, kudos to uh, the Halo Beauty Company and Tidy Westbrook for uh, tossing this in their product. Ceramides are another uh, interesting ingredient. Uh, ceramides are a type of fat called technically sphingolipids, and they're found in a variety of cells and they do many different things such as helping cells communicate with each other. They in, are involved in, in cell uh, maintenance and, and basically cell health. And in terms of the skin, they do help uh, our skin maintain its moisture content, keeping skin plump, plumped up skin is less likely to show wrinkles, okay? And I did uncover at least one study that noted um, that the ceramides in a, in a dietary supplement could actually uh, stimulate the elastin and uh, fibroblast production in the body. And fibroblasts are a type of skin cell. So again, from a logic standpoint, ceramides make a lot of sense for skin supplements. Um, when, when I look at the totality of ingredients in Kiwi Seed Booster, I find that a lot of them, uh, as you see here, vitamin D, B2, B6, rose hips, grape seed extract, etc. These are all antioxidants. So that's the common theme to this supplement. It give you a bunch of different uh, of antioxidant compounds which may act together in unison to uh, battle free radical uh, production. And again, in some instances, like quercetin, uh, perhaps even help bolster our body's natural antioxidant defenses such as glutathione. So that's a common theme. Uh, antioxidants as well as anti-inflammatory agents. Some of these things that you see here do also have anti-inflammatory properties, which again, that's something else that, that Kiwi Seed Booster is supposed to do, reduce skin inflammation. Uh, so Halo Beauty was the first uh, supplement that Toddy Westbrook had rolled out, um, and Kiwi Seed Booster is the second one. How do they differ from each other? Well, they do have some ingredients that are different. Um, there are some ingredients that Kiwi Seed Booster does not have that Halo Beauty does have. And in my review that I posted on SupplementClarity.com, I, I basically put a big table up where I showed you each side by side, and I highlighted what they had in common. There are some common ingredients, several of them between Kiwi Seed Booster and Halo Beauty. But what I what I found was most interesting, to me at least, is that the dosages of the common ingredients are identical to each other. And, and that says a lot about the company. In other words, there was no skimping of ingredients uh, when Kiwi Seed Booster was created. Those dosages are identical uh, to the dosages you would see in Halo Beauty. What they took out, on the other hand, are just those ingredients that the company felt was probably not the best for uh, a skin-only supplement because Halo Beauty, as you may already know, is a skin, hair, and nail supplement uh, and not just for skin. So Kiwi is a, is a more uh, targeted supplement, if you will, whereas Halo Beauty might be a more broader spectrum uh, dietary supplement. So, But they do share a lot in common. And again, if you want to see the entire side-by-side -side comparison, you know, hop over uh, to Supplement Clarity. I'll put a link in the description.
So let's talk about some common questions you might have wondered about with this product. Um, do you have to take Kiwi Seed Booster and Halo Beauty at the same time? And the answer is absolutely no. Even on the website for Kiwi Seed Booster, they say, no, you do not have to take both to get optimal results. And I really was personally impressed with that uh, statement. It would have been very easy for a company to say, yeah, you got to take them both. And I know some companies might actually do that. It was actually uh, very refreshing to see Toddy's company is saying you don't have to take both for optimal results. So kudos to them. That's not something I see often in the dietary supplement world. So I was very happy to see that. Uh, does Kiwi Seed Booster have any gluten? And the answer is no. No gluten, no wheat, no soy. Uh, and the product is also uh, cruelty free, which I uh, thought was also a plus for this dietary supplement. Uh, so again, no wheat, no gluten, uh, no soy and cruelty free. How big are the capsules? That's the one thing that people online seem to talk about in the some of the videos that I had looked at. They thought the capsules were a little on the big side, but again, um, the kiwi extract itself is pretty darn concentrated, so I don't know how you can make those capsules uh, smaller. That said, when I did look at people online taking them with water, nobody seemed to be having any trouble swallowing those capsules, but if you are somebody who's uh, phobic to, of swallowing capsules, and I get you, I, I, I'm not a big fan of swallowing capsules myself, uh, just break them open, toss them in water, toss them in juice, toss them in your oatmeal, put them in a smoothie, drink them. Uh, those capsules are, are very easy to break open, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. How long until you're going to see results with Kiwi Seed Booster? Uh, well, the company says two to three weeks. I would say results will vary uh, by depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So I, I personally would give it two to three months myself. They do say better results will be seen the longer you take it. I could I could agree with that. So um, I, I, they say two to three weeks. I'll say give it a little bit longer to be honest with you. Um, but if you see them two to three weeks, hey, that's great. That's great too. Can men take uh, Kiwi Seed Booster? The answer is absolutely yes. Um, I looked at every ingredient in this. I don't see any ingredient that men need to worry about in Kiwi Seed Booster. So uh, men, don't sweat it. You can take it too. And I even saw some before and after pictures uh, of men who have taken this as well. And and then number six, does Kiwi have sal palmetto? And the answer is no. There's no sal palmetto in Kiwi Seed Booster. Sal palmetto um, is, is in the Halo Beauty uh, ingredients list in its formula. And that makes sense because there's evidence that sal palmetto can help grow hair. Um, it does have some evidence for this, which if you saw my Halo Beauty review, I showed you that evidence. Um, but since Kiwi Seed Booster is not a hair supplement, it's not in Salpimento. Oh, and by the way, while we're at it, when I wrote my review of uh, Halo Beauty, I noticed a lot of women were saying, oh, Salpimento had some uh, crazy side effect in that it might interfere with birth control pills. Uh, yeah, good. I, I don't see any evidence for that, guys. I did a deep dive analysis of Salpimento and, and, and pregnancy. Couldn't find any uh, per, uh, human evidence of this. So I know a lot of high-profile websites talk about that possibility possibility. And, and that's great, but nobody's shown me any human proof of it. So regardless of where you stand on, on this debate, um, there is no supplemento in Kiwi Seed Booster. Uh, so does it work? And I'm going to say, I think it probably will work, to be honest with you. And that's because the ingredients make sense to me. I do find research supporting the claims of Kiwi Seed Booster. Uh, but for me, the thing that drove it home were the before and after pictures. Um, even though I am a research guy, as you may know, I like to go to the research. Uh, for me, I, I have seen before and after pictures on YouTube as well as Instagram and Facebook. And they said to me, um, I think this is probably going to do something. So um, if, if you're if you're on the fence. Uh, hopefully this review has helped you. Guys, if you got any questions, leave a comment in the uh, bottom of the, of the video. I'm putting a link to the entire deep dive analysis uh, in the description as well, which goes into a lot more depth. But um, that's all I got for you guys. I really hope this uh, analysis of, of Kiwi Seed Booster was of help to you and share it with your friends. I worked really hard on this and would love it if more people saw this. Thanks, guys. Have yourself a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.